Hey, check out this week's video because we got uh, a very rare, what I call the pappy of Irish whiskey. And Don. for a couple of bourbon guys, you're going to want to watch this one. This one is very special. Hi, welcome to this week's edition of What's New at Charlie's. Well, as you can see, we're back in the bourbon lair. I've been kicked out of Charlie's still on Main uh, for another night. Don's been kind enough to take me in from the cold, and here we are. Uh, we're kicking off, uh, kind of kicking off uh, 2024 on a, on a big note tonight. So I'm um, excited to try a Middleton Very Rare Irish Whiskey. Now, I've chased this bottle for five to seven years and not been able to find one. Finally showed up. Um, I hope it doesn't disappoint, Don. What do you know about this? My good friend, Mr. Don Williams, the bourbon fool, folks. You know, Charlie, you picked a beautiful one to kick off 2024 because this is really kind of an amazing Irish whiskey. And we've done, we've reviewed some other Irish yeah, whiskeys. Yeah. But this one is extra special, hard to find, like oh, you yeah. mentioned. Oh, yeah. Some people call it the pappy of Irish whiskeys. And uh, I'm excited about it. It's, it's 80 proof, but what is really important is three different master distillers had a hand in creating this. Wow. And basically, it's Irish whiskey. It's pot still whiskey that was, you know, 15 years old. Some is 28 years old. It's blended. But then the secret is it's matured in virgin Irish oak barrels. Wow. Wow, that's pretty cool. I didn't even know there was such a thing as Irish oak. <laughs> and, and basically, it's a great story. They took some big, majestic Irish oaks off property uh, to make room for new plantings. And they created these virgin oak casks. And not only did they mature the whiskey in the virgin oak, but they did it for two years. Wow, wow, nice. So, uh, very cool. Uh, one thing, well, let's go ahead and crack it open here. Great box, great presentation, right? I mean... It's about a four hundred some dollar bottle of whiskey, so I guess it should have a nice presentation, right? Yeah. We're but I noticed it says right here, Vinny's twenty twenty three. So I'm assuming this changes every year. Is this a one time release? It, no, they have been releasing these kind of special editions since eighty four. Oh wow! Uh, okay. Barry Crockett, who was the master distiller in eighty four, released the first edition of Middleton Very Rare. Okay. In eighty four. And they have, re, you know, I'm not saying they do it every year, but they've released it for multiple years. Okay, I know. Well, like I said, I've chased it for a long time, and I'm pretty excited to crack this one open. So I'm just going to do that. So let's see what we got here. Um, anything else you got on it? Well, you know, um, I, we've reviewed a few Irish whiskeys in the past, and the one thing I've noticed is it doesn't get as much interaction uh, or views as our bourbon videos do, which which well, kind of makes sense. But <coughs> for a couple of bourbon guys, uh, I'm really going to tell you that if we review an Irish whiskey, it's really worth looking at, and it will help expand your palate, you know, because sure. they have a different taste profile. And Irish whiskey is my second favorite whiskey after bourbon. Yeah, absolutely. I, I like Irish, but I mean... So we're about two years into this thing, aren't we, Don? I don't, I don't, well, it's, I don't it, it's a bunch. I started and, to do a new count, and I got distracted. But by the next, uh, in, in a couple of videos, I'll have a new just count. Just the fact that it took you so long to count it and you got distracted <laughs> tells me it's been a while. So I know it's been a while, and we've probably done three or four Irish whiskey. So it's not something we do very often. But no. like you said, this is to me, this is a very special mm -hmm. bottle, and I'm very excited to try it. So on that note, let's just try it. Cheers, Cheers man. Smells great. The first, the first thing that hits me is dry. Very dry. Yep. It, it has a dry dryness on the palate, uh, kind of a very elegant, faint floral note. 
but not overly sweet at all. No. Being bourbon guys, it's definitely a different flavor than what we're used to. <coughs> Has a subtle hint of like a scotch it, single malt flavor. It, it does. Flavor. Yes. It does. Right. Um, and some of that, you know, is from the, you know, uh, single pot still whiskey. Yep. Um, and, and it's older whiskey, but as you can see, the color is not dramatically dark. No, but it, it is dark for an Irish whiskey. Yes. It is. Yes. It is. Mm -hmm. um, so, again, these were, you know, probably uh, ex-bourbon cask. You know, I, I'm not 100% sure, right. but very likely. They were, and then finished in virgin, which, which meant no chard. Yeah. Uh, Irish cask, which probably did not impart any color, just flavor. Just flavor, yeah. Uh, but it is a pretty elegant Irish whiskey. Uh, it is much different than what we would normally look at. Oh, yeah, at, yeah. Um, which is probably why it's a very rare, you know, you know, they like to call it the pinnacle of Irish whiskey. Yeah. Uh, and it is definitely in a class of its own from what I have sampled. I agree that with that too. You know, we've had a few Irish whiskeys, not just on camera, in life. And this one is uh, definitely a step up from most Irish whiskeys. Yeah. Well, well if, if you are a fan of Irish whiskey or a fan of unique whiskeys. Or a good scotch, if you like a scotch, you know, I think you're going to like this. Right. It's, you know. You're going to want to uh, stop over at Charlie's. Um, he's got one bottle, I assume. Oh, yeah, one bottle. For one sure. bottle. Yeah. Uh, and try it out. I think you really enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. Well, very good. I think we're off to a good start this year, Don. Charlie, yeah. cheers, cheers to a good my 24. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you.